Bitcoin on the daily chart here, folks. I'm going to go down to the one hour and show you a lot of detail. But I just want to show you for perspective where we're at. I'm going to, when I end the video, I'm going to come back to this daily chart and I'm going to put in some white horizontal lines. If there's a breakdown where we might find support, if you see the three horizontal lines up on top, or not if, but the three horizontal lines up on top are likely resistance. And what I've done there is mark the last three highs here, here, and then here. So at the end of the video, I'm going to go mark basically where these dumps stopped. And we'll see see if there's a breakdown. We'll see where support could be. But uh, first, I want to show you my last video I left off talking about that, that's why I started on the daily chart, because if I just show you this picture right now, you're like, what in the world? My last video, I talked off. I stopped. Uh, where was he? Through here somewhere. I think it was right about in here, about six, a little over 68,000. It made another run up towards the top of the triangle and then came back down. And it looked like it looked like there might be a breakdown. It looked like there might be a breakdown. This is the hourly candles. And it's just put in a big wick. Look at that. That daily candle actually closed right on the triangle. So it's kind of a fake, fakey fake. This is real treacherous. If you were to try to trade this, in my opinion, this is treacherous. Uh, you don't see Bitcoin do this a whole lot. Now I have this really, really stretched out, but you don't see Bitcoin really do this a whole lot. Look look at those little tiny hourly candles They're just basically going sideways. It's It's got a slight incline to it, but but uh, the, the cool thing is, the interesting thing is, let's put some more altitude on that and stretch it out so you can see what's going on. The cool thing is, is, is look at that. It's right on the bottom of that little red channel and the bigger red channel. It just, it's just, just stuck to it. It's just support, 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 support. And actually, you know, right as I make this video, look at that. It looks like it might be trying to break down out of there. So let's zoom, let's let's zoom way back out. I'll show you where we're at here on the hourly chart. Okay, there's this is what it is on the hourly chart. So my last video I talked about the the uh, targets. The yellow target, the yellow triangle target is about six thousand dollars. And my last video I pointed out some supports down here if it broke down, and I talked about what happened if it pumped up, and it's still the same story. Let's go back to the daily. I, I don't have a whole lot to say here. <laughs> no, nothing's really changed. Although, although I do need to say the the longer you know, if you see if you see Bitcoin spending a lot of time in the bottom half of that yellow triangle, that usually will, will give a higher probability to a breakdown. You know, and if it's in the top half of the triangle, that'll give probability to break up. But I view this as playing a game against like a quantum computer. And this this is a real tricky, right? It could just it could spend a lot of time in the bottom half of the yellow triangle, and of course, obviously, it's in the bottom half of the red, both those little the little red channel and the big red channel, um, which is which is indicating a, a breakdown is more likely, and you know, looking at it from probability, but you know, the quantum computer could, could get real tricky, right? There's already been one fake down, you know, you know, just. Uh, you know, you go, oh, here it goes. <laughs> no, boom. Right. So watch out for that. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do, but actually let's go back to then down to the hourly. I don't know what it's going to do from here. You know, this, this could end up being a bounce off the red channel. Right. And it could be a nice size pump coming, even if it's not a breakout, you know, still go up quite a bit. Uh, the top of the yellow triangle is, you know, 69,000 right now. But the interesting thing is this is going to give at some point, it's 1245 uh, AM June 2nd, as I make this video. And so the cool thing about these triangles is they give a timetable. This, this probably won't go, go uh, past June 3rd central time. It, it's highly unlikely it goes, you know, past this part of the triangle. Now the way it's acting with that tight little range, you know, maybe it maybe it could, but okay, it's it's riding, it's riding this channel up, so you know that channel meets the triangle at uh, four p.m. June third Central Time, which is uh, not too far away. 
you know, and if it breaks down out of the red channel, you know, this, this yellow channel might, might just be just uh, a given that it's going to break as well. Who, who knows for sure what's going to happen, but uh, that's interesting though. Uh, you know, 24 to uh, 36 hours. Let's see. June 3rd. Yeah, you know, I, I say within within the next thirty six hours, this this should be breaking, and it could be a substantial move up or down. The the like I said, the triangle's got a six thousand dollar target. The red, the big red channel ascending is bearish. It's got an eighty five hundred dollar target. So let's go back to the daily and uh, how I'm getting these supports and resistance is obviously. And any line you see here and the channels going down is, is going to be a support. And if it does come back down in here, then coming back up, those will all be resistance. But let's just mark. This is mainly what I want to make the video about. And uh, let's just mark. There's a good level here. Let's turn my magnet back on. There's a good level here. There's 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 a, quite a few candles that, that uh, support and resistance. You know, I could draw quite a few white lines right here, but let's just put one right there. Call it 64,565. These numbers will be a little different from exchange to exchange and different pairing to pairing. This is Femex, Bitcoin, USDT pairing. So there, there'd be a good support. And and uh, let's see, here, here's one. And this would be one. And I, I just don't want to keep my chart real cluttered when I first turn this on, when I start making videos. Here's a good area to watch. Boom. And then, of course, we've got the bottom of the range down here. Boom. Okay, so let's talk about this. If it breaks down, a nice support to watch would be, obviously, the white horizontal line in conjunction with the top of the, the bull trap extension channel, the extension on the top of the channel I got there. That area, 64,500, it's like 64,000. And if it were to break through there, then you're going to watch the heart line in this, in this smaller channel here. And then if it broke through there, a really, really nice line of support would be this white line at 60,800 in conjunction with the top of the, the green macro channel. That would be a, liable, uh, a likely spot for a bounce. And then, you know, and if it goes out in time, of course, you'd want to watch this heart line in conjunction. I mean, anytime you see one of these white lines cross another support, that's just, it's just going to be a little extra, extra strong. And, uh, you know, obviously same story as you go down. If, it, if there was a huge crash, or not a huge crash, if there was a huge dump, you know, then you'd be talking about this uh, 56,500 area, you know, and, and that's in conjunction with this heart line. And, you know, that would kind of be, uh, if it came down there again, you know, you, you might be looking at a double bottom where, you know, if it came down this far, then you'd probably be looking at something, you know, real powerful looking coming back up. So uh, that's it. I, I really, there's really not a whole lot to say. This is, this is treacherous, you know, you're just, uh, you're betting on red or black, odd or even, is, is if you wanted to, you know, try to say, what's going to happen right now. I, you know, if I had to guess, which I'm not, you know, if I had to bet, which I'm not I, I, for transparency, I'm, I'm in a long and a short, I'm, I'm got a, I'm in hedge mode. I've got a long and a short open and, uh, I'm okay with going underwater, but, uh, I'm not telling anyone to do that. But, uh, um, if I had to guess, I, I would say this is coming down. It's going to come down. You know, I don't know how far, if I saw it, you know, if I publish this video and, and, you know, later when I go to bed, you know, if I start, you know, so, sometime later after I make this video, if I saw it breaking down, obviously the, the first spot I would watch would be right here. The 64,500, the target would be 61.4, which would actually be down here. So, you know, I, I guess I already said it. I don't need to say it again. Support here. You know, maybe maybe it would look something like this. Oh yeah, it has support. Yeah, no, boom. Oh look, maybe it's support. No, oh, boom. And then here would be like the target for the yellow channel or a triangle, and then uh, another twenty five hundred dollars down from sixty one would be fifty nine. 
so yeah that's that's uh that could happen the the red channel breakdown target would be right in right in this ballpark here and uh, that's also lines up with a couple white lines all right that's it you saw what i'm saying not a whole lot to report uh be safe out there this is treacherous this could go up or down and it could be it could be uh that, like I say, this is not normal behavior. If you look at this chart, this is the hourly chart. You know, there's there hasn't been really a stretch. There was one stretch kind of similar to this a while back, but uh, there's a couple I can see in there. But this this is that action right there is is not typical at all for Bitcoin. You have to stretch the chart way out just to just to see. Just to see anything. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> Turn it off, please. Oh, it's just so annoying. <laughs> they, they need to have a button you can press to get off there, so I have to keep turning it on and off. Okay, let's see. That, that's not typical behavior of Bitcoin. But it is going up that channel, the support. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's I'm 50-50. I wanted to say, you know, if I had to guess, I'd say it's still going down, but. The longer it does this, I start to get a little weary. That's just a, this is a trick, right? It's just a trick until a bunch of people short, and then it'll then it'll pump up for you know five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars. Anyways, all right. Have a good night, day, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Later. Don't forget to subscribe, like.